Hello everybody, welcome back to this year's Tropical Update for September 1st. And with September, we finally have a named storm, our fourth named storm of the season, Tropical Storm Danielle, located just to the west of the Azores, uh, kind of between halfway-ish between uh, the Azores and Bermuda. Uh, so yeah, we have a tropical storm finally. It was named uh, a tropical depression early this morning, now a tropical storm. We're watching Invest 91L located just to the east of the northern Leeward Islands. We're also watching Invest 94L north of Cabo Verde. Let's talk about all three of those and also a few bonus features. First up on the GFS model, this is uh, not for Sunday morning, this is for Monday morning, but still four days from uh, today, uh, like it was yesterday when I had this. Let me take my cursor over here. One, you can see a uh, very healthy, what is likely a category one or two hurricane. Uh, at peak strength, uh, Danielle here, but in the same place that it is right now because it's not going to move due to this high pressure here. And once that high pressure erodes away, then it'll be able to make its way over towards Europe uh, as it slowly loses its tropical characteristics. Down here is 91L, which is possibly a tropical storm, uh, making its way to the south of Bermuda. It's going to turn out to sea and basically head up to where Danielle's at. Uh, right here, this little like you know ridge here um which is really a trough of low pressure but um this area right here is where uh 94l is going to be potentially becoming a brief tropical depression between these two points by monday morning but after that it will not be a, a tropical cyclone at all also over here this little kink here the gfs develops into a tropical cyclone uh, likely a tropical storm off the coast here. That's something we want to monitor, but I think it's going to be too close to 94L or 91L if 91L develops into a tropical cyclone. So again, keeping an eye on everything here uh, as we do. Also of note, and I will begin to talk about this come around this time, probably around Monday's update, um, this tropical cyclone over here begins to develop in the eastern Pacific off the coast of Mexico and could be making its way towards Baja California with major land impacts uh, to the areas of northwestern Mexico. And if that seems to be the case, then we'll just talk about that as well as our Atlantic things to talk about. Speaking of Atlantic things to talk about, let's talk about these storm by storm. Tropical Storm Danielle looking beautiful today, as always. Uh, nice rotation, nice convection, convection around the center. It looks like a tropical cyclone. Um, it, it, it's not completely perfect. You know, I've seen better looking uh, tropical storms before, but you can tell it's decently healthy, very warm waters in that area. National Hurricane Center uh, expecting this to become a hurricane here within the next two days, possibly a Category 2 hurricane, as you'll see on the next slide here. Likely going to go away from the Azores, but still large swells expected in the Azor area. Uh, so we do want to keep an eye on this storm. It remains where it's at, but where it's at, the waters are super warm. Um, so strength really isn't a problem with this one. As we can see on these uh, models here, a few bring this Cat 2 strength Hurricane Center, bringing it to a Category 1 uh, strength storm. Uh, but they do note the possibility it gets stronger. Uh, Invest 91L looking worse than it did yesterday. Um, yeah, it looks kind of like a blob. I mean, yeah, it's a tropical wave. You can tell that much out of the storm, and it, it's decently consolidated, which is good. Uh, but that's kind of all it has going for it. Hurricane Center dropping the chances from 80 down to 70% within the next five days. Uh, we are continuing to monitor the Leeward Islands, but no longer the Bahamas. I think the Bahamas are going to be safe from this one aside from uh, maybe a few swells or something like that, but I, I wouldn't be hugely concerned about the future of 91L heading towards the Bahamas. It looks like it's going to be steered away and out to sea, uh, perhaps even missing Bermuda as well. I was really even questioning mentioning Bermuda today uh, because it, it's really not a huge concern. Again, that's if that storm develops. 94L, speaking of storms, if they develop looking uh, bland like nothing today, uh, Hurricane Center down to a 20% chance of formation within the next five days. Again, very brief tropical depression if it does form. Here is the impact map for today. Uh, again, the Bahamas no longer are we watching them for potential development. That was a great word choice there, Chris. Um, and then looking, of course, at Tropical Storm Danielle at the top center of the screen, as well as their two invests 
uh, as we have been watching. Let's take a look at the ensembles. Here's the European model. Uh, again, all of the models now turning this thing uh, aside from a few which keep it weak and probably wouldn't develop due to mountains anyways. Um, turns Danielle, or 91 Owl rather, out to uh, sea away from land. Again, it's not moving a whole lot from where it's at now to seven days from now, potentially just being north of Puerto Rico. Uh, that's not a lot of movement. So very stagnant moving. Of course, the same thing with Danielle. Danielle not far away from where it's at, although it kind of depends, as you can see. Some of them have it, you know, maybe a few hundred miles from where it's at now. Some of it have it maybe a thousand miles from where it is now. But still, that's a decently short way to move over the course of seven days. It all depends on when that high pressure erodes, which you can see here uh, in that red color. That's where that high pressure is. When that begins to erode away is when we'll finally see Danielle begin to move towards Europe again, uh, strengthen and all that fun stuff as it moves on. 94L again, possibly brief tropical depression, another tropical wave possible behind that one. GFS model saying much the same deal, moves 91L a bit quicker off to the north, also develops it a bit stronger, but several of the models on the ensemble don't actually develop it. As we can see earlier, like I was talking about, potential tropical development off the coast of the United States here will begin, well, we'll continue to monitor that over the weekend. Tropical storm Danielle making its way as a stronger storm than in the European, but mostly the same general uh, outlook and direction here. And the same thing with 94L and the next tropical wave behind that one. I do want to note as I close out for today that tomorrow I will have the video out uh, around the normal time around 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern, which is normal, but was going to kind of be unfortunate if 91L starts to develop into a tropical cyclone. That's just when I have to do it, I'll be on a silent retreat over the course of this weekend. So there will be no video Saturday. Uh, I might like just post slides, but it'll be silent, of course. Uh, but I probably won't even do that. So um, likely no updates on Saturday. I'll continue with updates probably Sunday evening will be when updates return. Um, so that'll be a late su Sunday night, Sunday evening type dealio. Sorry for a long video today, but we have a lot to talk about. Again, all three of these storms, um, and, as well as potential development off the East Coast later this week and potential impacts to Baja, California. So again, uh, lots of things on the line here. It's hurricane season, folks. Happy September. That's all for now. Chris, Dixon, and for other Catholic video.